know there's a lake that can turn you into stone? Unlike the myth of the Adarna bird, whose droppings can petrify you, this is a real phenomenon. The lake is called Lake Natron, and it has the extraordinary ability to turn living things into stone. In Eastern Africa, in a remote part of Tanzania, there's an unusual lake that stands out not only for its appearance but also for its impact on nature. This is Lake Natron, known for its vivid red color and its ability to petrify living creatures. The History of Lake Natron Lake Natron is part of the Great Rift Valley, a massive fissure in the Earth's crust that stretches from Lebanon to Mozambique. The lake formed millions of years ago due to tectonic activities in the region. It has high levels of alkalinity, derived from minerals that flow down from Mount Oeldoño Langai, an active volcano nearby. The water in the lake can reach temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius and has a pH level between 9 and 10.5, almost as high as ammonia. This makes the water extremely salty and toxic for most animals to drink. Mount Oeldoño Langai, a unique volcano, releases natron carbonate lava, contributing to the lake's high alkalinity. The lake's name comes from the mineral natron, a natural mixture of sodium carbonate decahydrate that ancient Egyptians used for mummification. The petrifying effect. One of the most striking features of Lake Natron is its ability to turn animals to stone. The high alkalinity of the water causes rapid decomposition of animals that swim in or are washed into the lake. Their remains become encrusted with minerals, making them look like statues. Birds and other animals that fall into the lake appear to be transformed into stone, resembling sculptures of their former selves. A comparison with the Dead Sea. Similar to the Dead Sea, Lake Natron has no outlets to rivers or oceans. This results in the water accumulating high levels of minerals, particularly salt and soda, leading to the lake's extreme alkalinity. Life in Lake Natron Despite its frightening characteristics, life has adapted to Lake Natron. Flamingos regularly visit the lake and use its shores for nesting. Cyanobacteria, which give the lake its red color, also provide food for the flamingos. Despite its hazardous nature, Lake Natron serves as a sanctuary for certain species. Why don't flamingos turn to stone? Flamingos can survive in Lake Natron due to their specialized adaptations to the water's extreme alkalinity and their diet of cyanobacteria. They don't turn to stone because of their tough skin and feathers, which are resistant to the lake's chemicals. Additionally, they move frequently to avoid prolonged exposure to the harmful water. The scientists behind the discovery, the eerie phenomenon of petrified birds was brought to global attention by photographer Nick Brandt. During his explorations around Lake Natron in 2011, Brandt discovered the stone-like remains of birds and other creatures along the shores. Captivated by the macabre beauty of these naturally mummified animals, he took a series of striking photographs, which showcased these statues in lifelike poses, further highlighting the lake's extraordinary and deadly power. Lake Natron is a reminder of the wonders and diversity of our planet. Its unique characteristics remind us that even in seemingly inhospitable places, life finds a way to adapt and thrive. The lake exemplifies how nature continually evolves and flourishes in various ways. If you enjoyed this fascinating story, don't forget to like, follow, and share. Thank you.